Good morning teachers and my dear friends. My name is Rachit Batra from class 11J, Zoe's house. Today, I am going to present South Indian culture and its wide variety of cuisines. Welcome. South Indian cuisines is classified depending on the states which are Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala and Andhra Pradesh. South India is known for its varied range of spices, many of which are being exported to different nations for centuries. Each state differing other predominantly from the spiciness of food, its different varieties and method of cooking. As far as clothing goes, South Indian men wear a type of saran which could be a white dhoti or a colorful lungi with typical batik patterns. Whereas South Indian women traditionally wear a kanchi puram sari. Now, let's talk about the ingredients which are mainly used in South Indian dishes. The ingredients among the cuisines includes the presence of rice as a staple food, the use of lentils and spices, dried red chilies and green chilies, coconut and native fruits and vegetables such as Tamarind, pumpkin, buttergourd, ginger, and garlic. Some of the cuisines consume ragi, jowar, and bajra instead of rice. As you can see here, I have presented some of the famous dishes of South India made by using ingredients and spices. I have mentioned before. This tradition of serving meals on plantain leaves endures in South India, especially at formal events. Idli It is a soft and fluffy steamed cake made of fermented rice and lentil batter. These are one of the healthiest breakfasts from South Indian cuisines. These are served with coconut and tomato chutney and sambar. As you can see here, there are two types of idlis, rice idlis and rava idli. Rice idli is mainly made of rice and curd, whereas rava idli is made of semolina, which are commonly known as suji, and curd and some spices. Dosa is a popular South Indian dish, which is made by fermented rice and lentil batter. People also add urad dal to give texture and taste. Dosa is made by soaking and blending urad dal and rice to a batter. Then the fermented batter is spread on a hot grindle or tawa. Here you can see the dosa which is served along with chutney and sambal. Vada It is a crispy deep fried food made by lentils. They are made by soaking and grinding urad dal or chana dal to batter. Then Small portion of this batter is deep fried. Now, upma. It is a flavorful breakfast dish made from semolina. This rava upma is made the easiest way by simply cooking dry roasted semolina, which then tempered with spices and herbs. Utpam are pancakes made with lentils, rice, onions, herbs, and spices. To make utpam lentil, Rice are soaked first and then ground to batter and fermented overnight. This batter then used to make utpam. Utpam are crisp at bottom and soft fluffy texture on the top. When eaten along with sambar and chutney, it enhances its taste. In fact, utpam is one of my favorite South Indian dish. Now, sambar. It is a common curry or dal which is served along with almost all South Indian dishes. It enhances the taste of all dishes. Sambar is made of one of more of these vegetables, which are carrot, buttergourd, tomato, pumpkin, etc. Sambar contains coarse spice mix, also known as sambar powder. Chutney is, a, is also served along with every South Indian dishes. These are mainly of two types, coconut chutney and tomato chutney. So, as you saw that these are famous cuisine of South India. 
and we can say that that these are the soul of south indian culture thank you